That joy cannot be stolen. That joy cannot be broken. Unless I let it go. Unless I take my eyes off the Savior and focus on the storm. But when that happens, I'll remind myself that the joy of the Lord is my strength. Joy does not come from something I create. Joy does not come from something I buy. Joy does not come from something I earn. But from the Lord above, the giver of every good gift, I'll remind myself that the joy of the Lord is my strength. God's spirit lives within me, and with God's good presence comes joy, unspeakable joy. So I will remind myself again that the joy of the Lord is my strength. I'll run to the Lord. I'll bow before my Savior. I'll lift up my hands in his holy name and proclaim that Jesus is Lord of all. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. He is our joy.
coming of a precious baby boy. Their shouting filled the heavens and shook the mighty earth and set the shepherds searching for the place of his glorious birth. And when they found the manger and gazed upon his face, they knelt in adoration in that low and holy place. O oh, Father, fill me with love that filled the earth that night and love that reaches throughout the world and fills it with your light. Sunday this year, after learning our children's church lessons, we've gone across the hall to the preschool room and taught the little kids the lesson through a puppet show, just like the one we are going to do for you now. Good morning, church. We kids have been asked to conduct the whole service for you today, and you are in for a real treat. Uh, what do we do now? I thought you had a plan. No, I thought you had a plan. I thought you had a plan. <laughs> no, I thought you had a plan. <laughs> Guys, we'd better come up with one quick. These people are expecting a service, and not a short one either. According to my papa, these things go on forever. Somebody <laughs> say something. Okay, how did the ornament get addicted to Christmas? <laughs> he was hooked on trees his whole life. <laughs> oh, no. I've got one. What do you call a kid who doesn't believe in Santa? A rebel without applause. <laughs> what do you call the noxious reindeer? <laughs> Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is this? You guys have been given a great responsibility. You are supposed to be leading a holy church service. That means reverence, people. This congregation didn't come to hear about Santa and reindeer. They want to hear about Jesus. Oh, yeah, good point. I've got a good, a religious one. What did Adam say to Eve on Christmas Day? I don't know. What? It's finally Christmas. Eve. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's not exactly what I had in mind. Maybe we should just get on with our show. Merry Christmas, everyone. We're here to tell you the story of a very special baby. Our descendants were some of the farm animals in the stable the day that Jesus was born. Sure, I'm not your typical farm animal, but rest assured, Compost is a worm's dream, and the stable that day was like a buffet. But I digress. Let's get on with our story, shall we? Here I am, star of your show. What? What is a shark doing in a manger scene? Don't you recognize me? I'm a baby shark. I've enjoyed a lot of success lately. With my one-hit wonder, baby shark. I heard you. I heard you were here to talk about a special baby. So here I am. Hit it, boys. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark. Whoa, whoa! Excuse me, excuse me. Is there a problem? Well, I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but we're here to tell the story of a very special baby, one who will grow up to be the savior of the world. she brought forth her 
our firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was new room for them at the end. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Be not so hold our bring good tidings of great joy. Which shall be to all the people. One to you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And it shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swollen clothes, lying in an angel. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now, even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they'd seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. Please excuse me, everybody. I've got to go tell everybody else the good news. The Savior is born! The Savior is born! <laughs> and all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. What a great story. I think I found my true calling. Oh, yeah? What calling is that? Getting the word out, just like the shepherds did. This is really good news, and the world needs to know. Well, I agree, but how are you going to do it? Ladies and gentlemen, just follow my lead. Faithful, it's his promise. He 
wherever, wherefore comfort one another with these words. I hope these words comfort you. People need comfort right now. That's why it's so important that we don't sit home, afraid in our houses. We are called to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth while, while we are still in it. People need to hear our Christmas carols and hear our Christmas cookies. They need to hear the truth that the baby Jesus grew up and loved them so much he died for them. And if they will believe in him, he is coming back to rescue them from the tribulation that is coming upon the whole world. If you've never believed in Jesus before, now is the day of salvation. The altar is open, and so are the ears of, the, of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus said he came to give us abundant life. That is what we hope to share with you today, abundant life. Scott and the Harper will lead us in one more song. <laughs> 